Hi, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel. Here I meet bold known experts in topic of parenting. Today I'm having a conversation with Dr. Jack Newman, who is a world known lactation expert and pediatrician. And today we're going to talk very specifically on the topic of diabetes and hypoglycemia and how does this influence the birth and the breastfeeding and what practices what medical practices could actually intervene in a joyful experience and good start of breastfeeding and what parents and mothers could done about could do about it please don't forget to like the video if you will find it useful and subscribe to my channel could you explain for someone who uh, potentially has diabetes right so what is hypoglycemia and how does the whole you know, the, di the diabetes could affect the breastfeeding and the key misconceptions that doctors have. Some of them you already covered, but maybe you can uh, explain clearly. Yeah. Okay. So the issue is this, that uh, uh, when, uh, when a, a woman is pregnant uh, uh, and she has diabetes, the baby is not diabetic, but the high blood sugar will get to the baby during the pregnancy and the baby's body responds. The baby's body responds by increasing uh, 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 insulin secretion during the pregnancy. Now insulin is a, uh, is a hormone that helps you gain weight <laughs> so that a baby often is born heavy if the mother has diabetes uh, during the pregnancy. So these babies are often born at uh, 4.5 5 kilos sometimes as much as that and if the baby if the mother was in fact diabetic then these babies are at risk for low blood sugar because the uh, the 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 blood sugar may decrease but the uh, insulin secretion takes a little longer to decrease so you get a baby who's getting uh, more and more of a normal blood sugar but the insulin he secretes or she secretes brings down the uh, blood sugar and so these babies often need to be on an IV or get glucose in the inside of their mouth but unfortunately in many places it's a place where the uh, uh, in Canada Toronto they just give the baby formula to treat the uh, blood sugar the problem is it's just not uh, a good way to go and there are other ways besides just giving the baby formula. As I mentioned already, uh, uh, glucose on the inside of the mouth, uh, an IV. But what's happened is if a baby, if, even if the mother is not diabetic during the pregnancy, if a baby is born heavier than the average, say if a baby is born at uh, four and a half kilos, they'll say, oh, must have diabetes, we better give him a uh, formula so he doesn't get uh, low blood sugar. But if the mother was not diabetic during the pregnancy, then the baby's just the bigger baby. Some babies are bigger than others. I mean, and they don't necessarily get low blood sugar simply because they're bigger. But in any case, there are ways, if there's a concern about low blood sugar, there are ways of treating this without giving formula. And one of the ways that we recommend is to express your milk before the baby is born so that the baby gets the breast milk instead of formula as the first feedings. And as far as I remember, and correct me if I'm wrong, in the book there was even a research that showed that if the breast milk is given instead of formula, it actually improves the rate of the hypoglycemia, the level of the sugar, so the baseline, yes. as far as I understood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, it, it's a, it, there's no reason why formula is a better uh, uh, treatment for hypoglycemia than breast milk, on the contrary. Uh, and basically, so breastfeeding right after the birth for somebody who is diabetic is completely safe and normal and recommended. Yes, yes, uh, but or, or as I suggested, sometimes breast milk to make sure the baby gets the milk. But what happens too often is, oh, the baby is an uh, infant of diabetic mother. We're going to move him to the special care unit and uh, we'll give him an IV and we, we'll give him formula in addition. Well, if the baby is separated from the mother, then she can't breastfeed, can she? So there are ways of dealing with low blood sugar uh, besides just giving formula. And, uh, you know, the uh, 
the glucose, uh, uh, the glucose gel that, that's put in the baby's mouth, the uh, getting an IV if it's absolutely necessary with, with glucose, but also breastfeeding. That's important. 